Hi, Sharon here, teachingbytes.com, and today I'm going to teach you how to post up a project on Donors Choose. Uh, perhaps you've always wanted to post one up, but need some motivation or some step-by-step -step guide. So this video is for you. And just to keep in mind, Donors Choose is open to public school teachers um, who work full time and that um, work with students at least 75% of the time. Okay, so once you log in. Go to the project page, and on yours, if you're brand new or you have to create a new project, you would click right here. But since I've already created one, I'm going to just go ahead and go to mine. And this is the main um, screen where you get started. And on the left, you'll see all the different steps it needs to take to have a project go up. And I've already done a couple of these, as you can see, the check marks and the ones I have not I haven't done yet so it's great you can um, save draft come back later so it's not all just in one time alright so I have five points if you're brand new you get three points and you can click here about how to get points etc but long story short the more projects you post the more points you accumulate and the more points you have the more you can spend so you can buy materials. You can have a you can um, raise funds for a class visitor, maybe an author or a mu musician or something, um, or a field trip. There's also a special one, which is professional development. Okay, and that's in Pilot, so I haven't used that, but that's pretty amazing. And then here you have your title. So you know, good tip is to make something that's create a title that's really catchy, something that's um, going to get people's attention. And so I'm calling mine Chromebooks Craze. All right, some alliteration there. I'm going to go save and go shopping. And in this part, you can see all the different vendors you can purchase items from. Okay, all here. And over here, you can see all the different categories. And since mine, my project is Chromebooks and click tech, you can see it features the tech vendors. So um, I, in the past for my Chromebook project, I used Amazon. And when I got my um, projector, I used Best Buy. So it, you know, you can choose, kind of shop around and see what works for you. Um, I'm gonna put the link to my teacher page under this video so you can look at my past projects too. So I'm going to click Amazon and on this you're going to see a whole bunch of different um, information so you can then go ahead and forward that. You don't need to read that but just long story short you need your own account for Amazon. You must purchase Amazon Prime eligible products, no third-party vendors and you cannot by ebooks and mp3s or digital content. Alright, and if you want to change the quantities, you have to change it on the Amazon site itself. The next over here to confirm you understand, so I'm going to click, click, click. Go to Amazon, and I in the past got Samsung Chromebooks, very popular. Um, 11.6 and 2 gigs. I'm going to get that quick. And again, I need to find something that's prime, so I don't want the black one because I already have all silvers. This one is a prime. I could get that one, but I don't want white. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and get this one right here. So I click on that one. And I want to change this to 12. So I want 12 Chromebooks. Update. Donors Choose recommends that when you start projects, you um, have ones that are pretty low in cost to encourage funding. But I've gotten pretty lucky with my school to um, get my whole project funded. I was $3,000 plus last time. And matching also really helps. So I'm going to add to cart, don't want coverage, and then I'm going to submit the items for approval, 
and this takes me right back to my donors choose page so you can see the summary here I have five points this will cost four points this is the cost and then here there's all the tax of course third-party payment processing fees um, labor and materials this is just money to support donors choose to you know get all the the website up thank you package going all the human resources that you need to do this so it actually comes out to more than the actual cost of the materials okay so review my products I'm gonna get 12 Chromebooks I can save draft I can come back later like I said I can continue shopping if I want more items but since I'm done I'm gonna go and save and summarize my cart okay now this part is just what do you need so I wrote my students need 12 Chromebooks to do research writing projects and sharing their work and then there you can see there's spelling check this part here there's a character count you have to have a maximum of 90 but minimum of 25 so that's all on the right for you to make sure that you have um, sufficient or not too much too many words so save my draft or tell story this is the part that I really want to emphasize imagine your donor on donors choose looking for a project to fund one of the many really important ways is to really craft carefully craft your words and why you want this project and how it benefits students so it's kind of like a persuasive project uh, writing okay so this is introducing your class there's ideas for you right here I started with a quote here's all the count like I talked about earlier okay this talks about your students and like I said I'm going to put the link to my teacher page under this video so you can look at this on your own get ideas from all my four projects I've done okay giving your donors an insight into who your students are okay who are they what are they like um, how do you describe your school and then this one is how your students will use the materials you're requesting you know giving the donors a picture of what how they how their project will help your classroom so I put all the reasons why the Chromebooks help and then how it will make a difference I put that over here too okay so I'm going to check spelling all this save and add details and again you could always go back and change and edit it's really easy to do so spelling check I could ignore all Chromebooks um, dictionary not in dictionary ignore okay so just spell checks for you ignore ignore okay all right spell check is done this is the add details part so what are you primarily requesting technology so you just click the appropriate boxes with subject um, for mine it would definitely be liter literacy um, I mean there's so many topics you can pick from say math 23 students what grade levels I'm teach third grade depends what you teach you know you could click how much ever you want save and continue okay so this is a photo I put up for my last project make sure you get permission okay from parents to post pictures of your students and there's a waiver form on the website so there's my picture I still like it okay and this is my title I still like it yes I do and then save review and submit So I look at my page, that's what it's going to look like on Donors Choose. Um, donors will see this exact page. So I just look through all of it, I kind of read it through and proofread. So does it look okay? Do I have the right products I need? Okay. And then you click Submit Project. So I won't do that right now. Okay. Um, 
The one good tip about it is that when you submit it, the uh, donors choose have has to approve it. So it takes a couple days, and once they approve it, then you need to promote it. So when you share your public profile, this is just sharing your teacher page. Okay, so mine looks like this. It has the um, intro about my students, a place you can give, and then it has just a, a summary about all the projects I've um, completed, and then all the donors as well. But what I want to show you is the sharing. This, again, shares your teacher page, not your project page. So if you share via email, it looks like this. So it's all built in for you. You could, of course, add or delete what you want. You could add friends from these sources, email addresses, and then here's the preview. Okay? Then if you want to share with Facebook, you click there, and then you could post to Facebook and type something you would like, and it shows the photo, profile photo, and then just a little intro there. You could post over here. All right? If you designate a Facebook sharing option, then face then donors choose will um, share your project on donors choose once it's approved, and then every time someone donates, it will say three cheers for so and so. So well, you know, in in shows up on your feed, and it's kind of cool to see who your friends can see who donated, and you could also quickly have a quick response. Um, but promoting is really important, you know, emailing friends, emailing your parents of a community, and donors choose to give you lots of templates and different um, letter templates, etc., to help you promote that. All right, but that's how you post a project on donors choose. I hope it helps you. Take care. Cheers.